tarantula. Oh, just a little one. Yeah, this, is, this is a pink toed tarantula. Now, Jeff, if I can get you to hold your hand out here real quick. Sure. You're going to fight. There we go. Now. That's your right hand. You might want to keep that one. That's yeah. the one closest to you, Dad. <laughs> Stand by. Now, watch out, Jack. She is a jumper. Oh, don't do that. What? Is there a problem? <laughs> you don't blow on a wild animal that's in my hand. Did you wet your pants when you yell like that? Well, maybe. I'm wearing gray <laughs> pants for a reason. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> don't scare the animals, Randy, Dad. I, I just sorry about that. Bree, a breeze came on. I swear. God. And this is a this is a small uh, type of tarantula. This is a little tree spider from from Venezuela and sure. Guyana. He took a plane up here because he bite. <laughs> he ain't real well, any any anybody. spider can bite, really. <laughs> and all any spiders spider can bite. Sure, they all have venom. They need that venom mm. to start the digestive process inside the bug. It's like a mother-in-law. But they typically don't bite. <laughs> and you can see this one looks like her nails have been done. Little pink toes there. Oh, yeah. This oh, is a little pink cool. toed tarantula. So insect, they all have eight legs. Is that correct? All spiders have eight legs, and most of them have eight eyes as well. Oh, how, how and, convenient. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. each one of those little tiny feet that you see hanging up there have yeah. two tiny little claws in them, and those claws are retractable just like a cat's claw. Do they make webs like normal spiders? These do not spin webs, but they will uh, trail the silk around so that she can find her way back home and line her <laughs> nest with it. What is this spider's name? Uh, I, I don't really have a name for you this don't one. Name your critters? I don't. I, I don't name the bugs. I name most of the reptiles, except for the ones that you're about to see. Uh, you Randy, got reptiles. Let's give you a plug because you, it is summertime and you're yeah. available for parties. I do birthday parties. I do school programs, uh, vacation Bible schools, scouts, uh, neighborhood get-togethers, all kinds of school aftercare. How do people find you? They oh, can find me. Web. Yeah, they can find me on my website, CritterKeeperUpstate.com. Right. Uh, have a phone number, 864-640-2295. Don't call me now because I'm on TV. <laughs> but also, the uh, Facebook page, my Critter Keeper Facebook page. Yeah. But, Jack, I saw you a few weeks ago, sure. and I wanted to tell you about Come what happened. Here, You're with the dentist. Come over here. I'm here. I'm close enough. <laughs> and I had an event. I am not engage, I do not habitually engage in snake husbandry, okay? But I had an instant. Snake husbandry? Husbandry. I don't typically breed snakes, but I had a little instant happen where Slim, my female oh boa my constrictor, oh she had babies. Great. And so I've got Aren't a number of boa oh. constrictor babies here. You can How tell many? they can, they all look the same. Uh, I've got, I think I've got six in here, and that's why I don't yeah. name them, I can't tell them apart. But what's interesting about this, Jack, is a lot of, most snakes do lay eggs, oh, but a lot of them also oh, John, give live birth. And this, the boa constrictors oh, give live birth. And uh, well, what I knew does that it was mean. They lay eggs. The they? eggs hatch on the you inside. You saw the basically. video in sixth grade, don't I? Yeah. Listen. And so uh, I knew it was going to happen, and when it did, it was a phenomenal experience. Now those wrap around. They, they do. Squeeze you to death. Squeeze you. Well, these won't because they're very tiny. You'd have, you'd, you know. They could squeeze so your Barbie here, doll here, to take death. One. Or take, here, take one. Here, I don't care. Look, I've had lunch. Look, I ate lunch earlier. Go ahead. Look, no, look I'm how fine. soft it is. I don't care. It feels velvety. I don't like his beady eyes. It feels like a snake that way. Turn that way. Turn left and go to Atlanta. Say Happy Father's Day. Now you know what you get. I've got plenty of them too. Colonia wearing. I borrowed money from a guy like that you. Oh, do you know? What are you wearing? I borrowed money from a guy who looked like you. My, uh, my female, she actually gave oh birth my gosh, to she 17. Multiplied. She gave birth to 17 live babies. <laughs> You know, seventeen live babies. <laughs> yes. What is that called? A gaggle, a murder, a litter? I, you know, I didn't. I didn't even check that. But it, I, I would call Heard. it a cluster because that's <laughs> probably what it was. But anyway, um, what's amazing is that each one of these snakes had umbilical cords. And that was something that kind of caught me flat-footed. I mean, I knew it, but I just didn't ever see it. And about two days after they were born, their mm -hmm. uh, umbilical cords fell off. And several days after that, all 17 of the surviving That's snakes true. shed their skin within hours of one another. And uh, will he grow up to be a pr productive pro uh, insect eater of the world? Uh, probably more like rodents and small mammals. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, Boa constrictors get, can get over 10 feet. Uh, uh, probably uh, not a child. Hide your chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, down in Florida, I guess, people have pets and they, they get out. Or well, actually, that's kind of a, I'm, I'm sure that happens on some occasion, but what's happening in Florida right now is actually a result of Hurricane Andrew blowing through in, oh. in 1992. And well, what would, uh, when that snake gets bigger, he, would, he wouldn't necessarily eat. Uh, uh, no. They, they're, they're eating rodents already. Baby mice. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they know, they know instinct, instinctively what to do. I uh, had to feed them separately, um, and they flicked the tongue out, and they realized it was food. They struck at it. They grabbed it with their mouth. They wrapped coils around this baby mouse. They killed it, and then each one mm -hmm. of them went to, the, to eat it head first. 
except for one who obviously was napping during instinct well, classes. Well, Randy, did you like have a car wreck and hit your head or something? Is that why you got interested in this kind of stuff? No, I've always been fascinated by these animals. And what's interesting is, that, you know, a lot of children do like animals I like this. I think it's good when the kids can learn something. Yeah. All right, well, Critter Keeper, that's you. Yep. All right, we got the website out there. You come back and see us, okay? I will. Thank you very much, Jack. And you I know that where that hand's been, so oh, shake, okay. shake yeah, Randy. Uh, right. Shake Randy. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay with us. Camp, I believe, is here. This is a neat uh, crowd. We want to tell you about that, so we'll tell you about it. Camp, I believe, pay attention here. I got a snake for you. For Father's Day. All right, coming up. I got uh, that, no more critters, but uh, we, we have some more surprises. Our question of the day, in upstate gold. Have a tooth you want to trade in? <laughs> Mr. T Starter Kit? <laughs> UpstateGoldExchange.com. They are your newest location, Highway 153 in Powdersville, across from the Walmart next to Mickey D's. Upstate Gold Exchange is a great way to make money in case you have a high maintenance father and need cash for this weekend.